I think it's time for a new adventure. Let's find a random server with a bunch of players on it and see how long we can survive. How about an Asian legend? Let's do it. Obviously, we'll start with the man with the underpants. Let's uh, have just a little bit extra strength, please, if you don't mind. Let's start off with a randomize and turn down the things we don't like and turn up the things we do. I think that's us good. Yeah. Ready? Let's go. Wouldn't it be excellent if Scum let you tailor the map you came in onto based on the geographical location you were at? Let's try and get straight in there and get some gear from... Head towards that base, come on. He's going to do a low-depth plummet. This might be a terrible idea. Now! Oh, pretty good. Man's running. Run for cover! There's some storm clouds, don't like that. Right, where are we? What have we got? Ooh. Well, this is a bit odd. There's a weird random little green square, and that's a player versus player outpost. Holy schmoly. Is that what that means? You go there to trade and you can shoot people and steal off them. That doesn't sound good. Right, well let's um... We know there's lots of players in here. What's the chances that we won't run into any of them? I don't see any mechs. Are there no mechs? See any mechs? Ooh. Very strange. Don't see any mechs or any puppets. Well, let's see if we can get kicked up pretty quick, shall we? Ah, yes. I never know whether I need to search each one of these boxes individually. Oh, I guess you do. It's a bedroll. I don't really want that. Do I equip with a bedroll? Okay, I need to find a backpack or some clothing with lots of pockets on it. I'm soon going to run out of room. I'm sticking with these dodgy military goggles. No, pilot goggles. For the win, I reckon. Ah, I haven't seen many of these shimmer scarves. This place seems to be rich on sunglasses and light on weaponry. I've been um, contemplating deleting the uh, Marmite server because I just don't play it often enough. Real life has got in the way recently. Oh shit.
<laughs> I was trying to figure out which button I could use to put my hands up and say hello. Well, that wasn't a very friendly server, was it? <laughs> well, I'm in the same location. Let's just try and get straight back in there again. See if I can ask him a question. Come on. Oi. Mm. Oh. <laughs> okay. We don't do it that low then. Marmite, you idiot. I thought that was plenty high enough. He took all the bounce off. I thought he was going to land and go running. Well, I'm a long, long way away from it now. My thoughts of revenge. Well, or am I? The answer is, yes, I am. It's probably the closest base, though. Come on, give me that parachute, you big doofus. Well, I'm officially not an Asian legend. I should have thrown the bloody Death Star shuriken thing at him. I was working in the vague, vague hope there was a bit of friendliness. But oh no, these Asians are tricky. He was a bit, see you, blam you. Z4, long way away from me. Go for a run back to that base. I'm determined to see if I can get my body back. The trouble is, it's a very long run. <laughs> so come back in the next episode and see how Olympic Marmite has survived the Asian terrors.